Vestiges of the French colonial era, island of Saint Louis. This man is Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, a renowned French writer who also worked as a pilot flying postal airplanes. Along with his most renowned work, Le Petit Prince, he wrote many stories based on his experiences as a pilot. This is the island of Saint Louis in Senegal in West Africa. This area was part of French West Africa at the beginning of the 20th century. Saint Louis lies at the mouth of the Senegal River and played a central role in the French colonies in Africa. The old town in the heart of the small river island is inscribed as World Heritage. During the 17th century, the French chose Saint Louis as their colonial base. The buildings, constructed by merchants who accumulated their wealth through rubber, leather, and ivory trades, have shutters and wrought iron balconies. This style of architecture is known as the French colonial style. This building with white arches was a school for the children of French merchants. Saint-Exupéry used to carry postal items by aeroplane. He flew from Toulouse in France to Saint-Louis, breaking his journey in Morocco and Mauritania. Saint-Exupéry named his plane Le Petit Prince after his novel. This building is a hotel on the Saint Louis Island. It was a popular place for pilots to stay in. It was built during the mid 19th century in the colonial style. Plain shaped plates are attached to the doors of the guest rooms. Colonial administrators also used to spend time at this hotel. This building was a French colonial government office where civil servants worked. It is used as a city hall now. Postal items carried by the pilots must have included some important colonial documents. Saint-Exupéry went missing in 1944 while he was flying over the Mediterranean Sea. The city of Saint Louis remained as an important center in West Africa until Senegal's capital was moved to Dakar in 1957.